everyone, it's Sarah here at the Rapid City Public Library with another story time short for you and today we will be reading a wacky story about a field trip to the library. That's right, today we will be reading The Librarian from the Black Lagoon. Woo! But before we get started, I'd like to thank Scholastic Inc. for allowing us to share this story with you today. The Librarian from the Black Lagoon by Mike Thaler and pictures by Jared Lee. Today, your class is going to the library. We've been hearing some really scary things about this place. The library is somewhere behind the boiler room. It's called Media Center of the Earth. Miss Beamster is the librarian. The kids call her the Laminator. Oh. They say she laminates you if you talk in the library. She also has a library assistant named Igor. You know you're getting close to the library by the signs on the wall. No talking beyond this point, no whispering beyond this point, no breathing beyond this point. They say you're allowed to stay in the library as long as you can hold your breath. Some kids last as long as a minute. That doesn't include the time in the decontamination room. There you put on hair nets and rubber gloves. Next, you have to go through a gum detector. Once you're finally in the library, you can't actually check out books. In fact, you can't take them off the shelves. To keep the books in alphabetical order, Miss Beamster bolts the books together. Wow. Also, they say the shelves are electrified. Zap! If you twist your neck and squint, you can read the spines. Everyone says the best part of a library visit is story time. All the kids stand at attention while Miss Beamster reads one of her while Miss Beamster reads one of the cards from the card catalog. Or if you catch her in a good mood, she'll recite the Dewey Decimal System by heart. Botany 580, Budgets 332, and Business 338. They say Miss Beamster has a crush on Mr. Dewey and that she carries his picture in a lead locket around her neck. She also has rubber stamps on the soles of her shoes and whenever she steps, it says, overdue, overdue, overdue. She seems to have ears on the back of her head. If she catches you whispering, girl, you're laminated. They say she puts glue on all the chairs so you won't wriggle. Then she shows you slides of all of her vacations since 1902. She goes to the same place every year, the Library of Congress. Miss Beamster also subscribes to three magazines, the, the Mortician's Monthly, the Complete Pamphlet of Zip Codes, and Sports Illustrated, the magazine for clean and laundry. These you do get to read. But stay away from her plants. They are Venus flytraps. And don't pet the animals in her petting zoo, which contains a piranha and a porcupine. Don't go near her computer either. It uses a real mouse. Oh, look at that mouse. Well, it's time to go. As we get near the library, there are lots of signs. Books are fun, books are joy, we spray for bookworms, and books can take you everywhere. We march right in and sit down in the little chairs. These must be the ones without glue. Miss Beamster comes over with an armful of books and puts them on our table. 
Then she smiles and hands me one. It's a book about knock-knock jokes. Oh, looks like Miss Beamster is nice after all. I'm going to love the library. Oh, that's such a fun story. Did you guys enjoy reading that? Well, guess what? If you signed up for our 1,000 Books Before Kindergarten program, then you can add the librarian from the Black Lagoon to your reading chart. Well, folks, that's all we have for now. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Storytime Shorts. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.